This week, we're looking at a new 1911 that I think is really well suited for everyday carry. It's the Dan Wesson Vigil Commander. I'm Joe Kurtenbach, this is Lock, Stock and Barrel. For those who don't know, Dan Wesson Firearms was actually founded in 1968. Uh, it was founded as the Wesson Firearms Company by Dan Wesson, uh, who is the great-grandson of D.B. Wesson of Smith & Wesson fame. So obviously, firearms design runs in the family. The original intention of the Wesson Firearms Company was to build great revolvers, take high-end components, assemble them, manufacture them to a high level of fit and finish so that they would perform better, be highly accurate, be highly reliable. So great revolvers was the name of the game for Dan Wesson. So from 1968 to 2005, the company did pretty well and built a good reputation for quality revolvers. They also dabbled in the 1911 realm, um, but the company maybe never really took off or was never able to translate uh, its high production uh, tolerances, its, its high expectations for quality into a larger production scale. But in 2005, the company was actually acquired by CZ USA and became part of the CZ Firearms brands. Uh, and since then, they really have had the infrastructure to kind of expand. And in so doing, they have also shifted their focus a little bit away from the revolvers, though they still do some, and much more heavily focused now on the 1911 platforms. So the lineup today is a pretty broad range of 1911s from competition, hunting, and self-protection uh, styles. Um, and I want to talk specifically about a new introduction for 2018. And it's one that I'm pretty excited about because, if I'm honest, if I was going to build, if I was going to carry a 1911 every day and I was going to design it, uh, Dan Weston pretty much knocked it out of the park with its Vigil Commander. So the Vigil line of 1911s was introduced this year and the goal was to provide kind of an entry level Dan Weston firearm. Like most custom and semi custom 1911 makers, the prices can range easily up into the two, three thousands and more. So providing a firearm in this case, which comes in with an MSRP of around $1,300 and can be seen at the store for maybe a little bit less, that gives you a nice high quality firearm from a company you can trust, but at a price that is affordable. So you're not gonna break the bank if you're looking for an everyday carry gun. Of course, beyond the price considerations is the feature package. And here, the Vigil speaks to me personally in that they got basically all the features I would want and put it into one pistol. And there's not a lot of guns out there that, that do that. So let's just start from the top and roll down some of the features here. So of course the Vigil Commander is going to be a commander size 1911. And what that means is you get the full grip, so full capacity, but you get a little bit of a shorter uh, barrel assembly. You get a four and a quarter inch barrel here, obviously the appropriately shortened uh, slide and frame assembly. So a little bit easier to conceal maybe, but 1911s in themselves are already very easy to conceal. Not so much for their length and height dimensions, but because they're very trim designs. It's very thin, it's a single stack obviously, and these make excellent concealment firearms. But the Vigil family incorporates some features that I really like, and let's start with probably my favorite, which is the sights. You don't get a lot of companies these days, although it is on the rise, offering my preferred sighting assembly, which is a plain black rear and a bright front dot. But we have that here. We have a nice uh, horizontally serrated rear sight, steel obviously, and in a ledge design. You get a lot of 1911s with slant styles. This one has the ledge, so one-handed manipulations of the slide uh, can be accomplished by hooking that on a belt or a table or whatever you need to do. And then you pair that with a bright, bold front dot, which is very easy to pick up. And of course, smartly included here, a tritium vial to provide night sight capability. Before we move on, I just definitely want to show you that we are using a cleared firearm. Um, because the next thing I want to talk about is actually one of the things that makes the 1911 so great to shoot, so easy to shoot well. That's that single action trigger design. Um, basically, the manipulation of the slide, the cycling of the slide fully cocks the hammer, which means that simply depressing the trigger drops the hammer. And that is why the 1911s are known for such a great, consistent, and uh, relatively light trigger pull, which of course is an aid to accuracy. It's a little bit harder to keep your sights on target if you really have to battle your trigger. So as you'd expect from a single action hammer fire design, there are some manual safeties. In this case, we do have the left side only thumb safety, and we also have the grip safety. So obviously the common 1911 features uh, to keep this gun safe and to allow you to carry it cocked and locked. Another feature that I personally look for in 1911s is a good grip. 
Um, you get some, you know, there's a lot of variations and you can get a lot of aftermarket uh, stocks for these guns, a lot of different serration styles. But one thing I look for is a gun that's really going to stick in, into your hand during recoil. And that's of course because this gun can be chambered in either 9 or 45 in the case of the Vigil. And 1911s of course are chambered in many other uh, cartridges as well, but in the case of the Vigil Commander 9 or 45. So I want something that's going to provide enough purchase that I can run the gun quickly and control it during recoil. And what I like about the Vigil is that even at its price point, it's providing a good grip. Uh, these nice wood stocks here, not only do they look good, but actually it's a pretty aggressive pattern up here. Not something that's going to abrade you, uh, but something that's going to help you stick to the gun. We have the uh, checkering on both the back strap, the mainspring housing, and the front strap, which you don't always get at this price point. You don't always get kind of that full diameter grip texturing, and I like that here. It's going to make this gun very easy to control at the range. Another thing that we're seeing uh, pretty common to commander size 1911s and that is helping them be even easier to carry is the fact that many are incorporating aluminum alloy uh, frames, which reduces the weight a little bit. So the Vigil Commander actually comes in about 30 and a half ounces, which is a little bit lighter than an all steel gun. As I mentioned, the Vigil is available in 9 or 45, and for an EDC gun, I would probably choose 9mm um, just because of the advances in that cartridge and the fact that you can carry. Uh, more rounds. So it comes with two nine round nine millimeter magazines, but of course aftermarket designs that carry 10 or more are also readily available for 1911s chambered in nine millimeter. So overall, this has been a gun that I really enjoyed taking to the range and getting to know a little bit better. And I, I want to just go back and, and say that the thing that drew me to this is, is basically it's got everything I think you need in an EDC 1911 and nothing that you don't and it is priced that way. It allows you to get a lot of great features without paying for things you don't need. So you've got that, you know, pretty standard duty finish. You do have wood stocks, which like I said, I like, but they're not the highest end stocks you have. But you have the features that you need. You have the texturing, you have those excellent sights, and you've got the commander size 1911, which I think is a great package for uh, everyday carry. So for more on the Dan Wesson Vigil Commander, you can go to danwessonfirearms.com. And of course, stay tuned right here for the latest guns and gear at AmericanRifleman.org.